All right, so this is my Treasure Panda FTK. So a basic opening hand obviously consists of five cards if you go first. But what you need specifically would be Toon Table Content, that's a proxy for it, Treasure Panda, two Dark Factories, the last card is irrelevant. You know, it's just an extra card. So, you only need four cards. With these four cards, you can um, FTK. Uh, obviously, it should be uh, it should be obvious to see right off the bat that with the two dark batteries, you can get the four pieces of Exodia. The head is flat, is you know the it's, a, it's, it's where the trick comes in, which is how you play the hand. <clears throat> so. First off, let's put the hand down. You're gonna play your tune tables. You know, another tune table, another tune table, and tune cyber dragon. This is a cyber dragon, so it's a proxy for tune cyber dragon. Put that over here. Put that hand up. That doesn't matter. All that matters is these three. You play your treasure panda all the way to, towards the deck. That's how I play it. Uh, your extra deck. Then you're going to activate Treasure Panda's effect three times, bashing, you know, Toon Table, Toon Table, Toon Table, right, one after the other, in order to bring out Piece of Exodia, right next to Treasure Panda, Piece of Exodia, next to Treasure Panda, Piece of Exodia, next to Treasure Panda. That's just the way I do it. So, <clears throat> you're going to take uh, a Piece of Exodia to make Link Spider, so that would go to be able to make Link Spider. Put it to your left side, um, uh, uh, extra monster zone. Then you want to take the other two pieces of Exodia, link them to make Proxy Dragon or uh, Binary Dragon, any, any uh, not binary, dra binary sources, any Link monster that requires two, you know, that has the two arrows pointing sideways. Also, you want it to be a cyber, so that's what matters. So I'm using Proxy Dragon because it meets those two requirements. Link Spider is a cyber, so that matters. All right, and then you can obviously play a Dark Factory to add two pieces back to your hand. So now you got a Dark Factory in the graveyard. You still have your Treasure Panda on the field, so you're going to activate that effect again to banish the Dark Factory that's in the graveyard now to grab the last piece and summon it next to Proxy Dragon. Then, of course, you'll be doing, sh you'll be shuffling in this sh combo, uh, I'm, you know, in this strategy. I just have everything set up so I can just do this straightforward. Um, then now you have the ability to uh, link these. Uh, wait, yeah, yeah. Because you have an Exodia in the graveyard, you want to link away this Exodia and the Treasure Panda to the graveyard. Those are clearly two monsters with different names. Or Nightmare Phoenix. Um, and summon it to uh, close to your deck, right next to Proxy Dragon, uh, because you're going to summon Summon Sorceress. So you want it to already be at an angle. Then you take Proxy Dragon, which is a Cybers, and like Spider, which is a Cybers. Two monsters there are Cybers. You know, they have the same type, and this is a Link 2, this is a Link 1, so that's three Links right there. So obviously, Summon Sources. Now we're using Binary Sources as a proxy, but I don't actually have Summon Sources at the moment. So you Link Summon, now you have Summon Sources. Summon Sources is pointing at Nightmare Phoenix and this empty zone right here. The empty monster, middle monster zone, main monster zone. Alright, so the middle main monster zone is where you're going to be summoning your monster from your extra deck. I mean, for your de main deck. You obviously use binary sorcerer, I mean, sorcerer, summon sorceress effect on Phoenix. Phoenix is a fiend. You bring out your, your Sangin from your deck onto the field, into that zone. So there's your Sangin. Right, right into that, uh, into that zone. Of course, you can, before even doing that, you play your uh, Dark Factory to get your remaining two pieces of Exodia from the graveyard to your hand. So now, you know, you should have the four pieces already in your hand. 
And then you take summon sorcerers, Sangin, link them to make a nightmare. Uh, Cerberus, where uh, Phoenix is pointing at. You sang his effect, and then you get the last piece of Exodia to your hand, along with the random two cards you have in your hand. I mean, one of them will obviously be Toon Cyber Dragon, the other card is whatever the other card is. So this is what your hand should look like after that combo. The so five piece of Exodia, Toon Cyber Dragon, and any random card that you had when you in your opening hand. And that's how you do the uh, Treasure Panda Exodia FTK when you got that God hand right in um, in my Exodia uh, my pa Treasure Panda Exodia Link Turbo deck. So it can FTK if you have you know the right you know have that specific opening hand. You can do a lot of stuff and a lot of other stuff in the deck. You can you know get Exodia in two three turns in this deck consistently you know it's part of what the deck does is that but if you have that specific hand the two dark factories the, the treasure panel and the tune tables you can get Exodia so that's what's important and that's the end of the video